Cubed or the power of three, depending on which title you want to use. Uh, some, way, some of us like one title over the other one better. Um, but I am your host, David Bichamp, and I am joined by Angela Pritchett and Drew Meyer. And we are here to talk about the power of three. So um, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to tell you what I loved about this episode. Um, before I ask them their opinions or anything like I'm that. I'm going to pull up the text messages you sent me on Saturday. Because <laughs> they got me to shed a tear on this episode. Um, when they introduced the new head of unit, I was not prepared for that. I didn't catch it when they just said Stuart, which I should have. But when he said, you know, you know, Lethbridge Stuart, and that was his daughter, I lost it. I was so happy, so ecstatic ecstatic by this she's the right age for her to be his daughter the fact that you know they brought up you know how he realized there was a way of doing things and science was a way of doing it and I just so much about that part of the episode made me so extremely happy and I thought she was charismatic I thought she did an extremely phenomenal job with Matt Smith as a doctor I cannot wait to see future interactions between these two characters you know I don't care if it's Matt Smith's doctor or if it's another doctor. I cannot, I hope they keep bringing her back. I hope she's going to become a recurring cast member of some sort because I was so ecstatically pleased by that. Um, and I hope we get some more nods like that um, with the 50th anniversary and everything else that's coming up and leading up to that because I thought that was a great piece of homage to um, uh, the Brigadier. So, um, now that I'm off, off my little um, soapbox here, because I've really just really wanted to say, I really wanted to talk about that, because I mean, it just, it really just was a very touching moment for me. Um, what did you guys think about this episode? I really hated the fact that they brought the Brigadier's daughter in. I thought she was a terrible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's about to be a fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually I, tensed up there for a second. I don't know, I was thinking about how bad to do that. Um, <laughs> I watched it. Uh, today for the first time, and um, it just took a while to, 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 I had a bunch of other stuff going on. Yeah, this and you couldn't find it, because I remember you were messaging me going, where can I find the episode? Someone finally sent it to me late last night, didn't get a chance, so I watched well, it no, today. He, he was trying to find it streaming. Oh, streaming. Yeah. Well, iTunes has it every day. Yeah. Um, has it uh, shortly thereafter. Yes. Yeah. You didn't have to draw attention to that, just edit that part yeah. out. Anyway, um... <laughs> I didn't get a chance to look on IMDb. She has, an, uh, I apologize, whatever your name is, actress. You kind of look a little bit like Nicholas Courtney. You look like you could be related to the Brigadier. Um, so if you're not, I'm not saying you look like a man with a mustache. <laughs> you certainly share similar features. And so I believed that um, that that was that was Alistair and Doris's daughter. I remember someone putting her name in my Facebook when I was writing about the episode. The actress? Yeah, they wrote down the name of the casting for her, so I'll but pull it's, that up. It's kind of fun because, you know, you have this <clears throat> reference to Doris and his dirty little weekend with Doris uh, way back when it was the third Doctor. And then in um, Battlefield, Battlefield, Battlefield. Um, <laughs> you meet Doris for the first time. You know, Lethbridge Stewart has retired. He's married. He's an honest man. And he's married Doris, whoever he's had this kind of dirty little weekend with. I don't know where I got the term Dirty Little Weekend from, <laughs> but someone else referred to their relationship as his Dirty Little Weekend. Um, and it's nice to see that that, um, that continuation. It didn't come from left field. You know, you no, exactly. There is a, at least a prompt to it. And if you don't know who um, Lethbridge Stewart is, 
because they don't really make it obvious with Matt Smith. He does that one little reference yeah. um, he where he dies. But it doesn't say, yeah. it doesn't explain. You have to know. Yeah, exactly. Like it doesn't, you know, so. That was more of a nod to classic Who fans. Absolutely. Right? Oh, almost yeah. definitely. That was, that was for the people who've been watching the show for a long time, just well, to make them happy. And those that watch Sarah Jane's uh, Smith Adventures, because the Brigadier did appear on the, in, in an episode as well there. I haven't seen that episode. I'm very excited about it. I Actually, I didn't tell you. I just started watching Sarah Jane a couple of weeks ago. It, um, I think it's one of the better episodes, just the fact that he's in it. Yeah. I just started this as a show yeah. in general. I'm, it's good. It's really, really, which I hadn't waited so long. Um, do you... Okay. I love the fact that they mentioned K-9. No, they mentioned K-9 and Mercy. They yeah, they, yeah, no, they mentioned Okay, I remember they mentioned K-9 in the last two episodes, and I re like, every, BBC America replays the last week's episode first, and then plays mm -hmm. this week's episode, so I always get to watch last week's again before I watch the new one, so they kind of blend in. Was it the flying dog comment? Yeah, something about Was that Mercy? No, I think that was actually that was this in, one? in this okay, one. Okay, yeah. I thought that was this one. Mm -hmm. Because so he, he they, misses they the dog. They mentioned K-9, which made me really happy. Love because K9 doesn't fly except for in the Australian series, yeah. so they're actually mentioning yeah. another. They have the continuity for, for it, so that's yeah. kind of cool because they're continuing and actually saying that whatever. I haven't seen the Australian show. I'm sure it's wonderful. Actually, Disney it, owns it now, so I was actually surprised by how good it actually was. I thought it was actually better than the Sir Jane Smith Adventures. The K9, new K9. yeah, the, the new King oh. and I. I was really surprised by how good it was. Well, can I finish my rant now? What yeah. I like? <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Go and I liked that they brought in the daughter, and they had Unit in it. That was I was waiting for Unit to come back. I knew Unit was going to be in the episode because Doctor Who magazine actually had a whole big interview with the writer. I was glad to see Brian again, and that was actually another thing when the guy wrote these episodes and casted him for that part. He's like, if I can have him in Dinos, I want him in the other episode, no matter what. And the actor was like, I'm there. I don't care when you're filming. I'm there. Well, I mean, can and you I'm really, them? I'm really sad that like once Amy and Rory are gone, I don't think we're gonna see much of him. I hope we would like later on, but I don't think we ever will. Cause I mean, he's such a quirky little character with the Doctor. I love the Rory's dad so much. Yeah, um, I gotta say, Kate that Stewart. Kate Stewart is the character's name. What was the actress's name? Was that the character's name? Yeah, she's Kate Stewart. Okay, she dropped the well, Lethbridge. Me... Yeah. Okay. Um, I thought that was. The, the Amy and Rory, I was going back and just kind of looking at the companions through history, um, went back and watched the classic episodes and trying to imagine what it was like, because I didn't feel this pang of regret when we lost Rose or, you know, Martha or I, I, anybody, I, and, but, you know, we have... And Rose, Rose leaving was kind of a heartbreaking thing, too, for some people, but... Sure, oh, no, I not, have not really the dread that everyone seems to have for Amy well, and that was That was a lot of people's first companion was Rose. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, for, for us, for the three of us, I mean, no, the, Rose wasn't our first companion. Um, but for a lot of people, Rose is the first companion, and a lot of people, you know, just like with the, re, re, with the regeneration, they're not used to losing these characters like we are. Mm -hmm. They weren't prepared. I also don't think Doctor Who would reach that point in popularity where the general populace, one, not as many people were watching in yeah. 2005, especially not in America, and two, it, it, it wasn't as common knowledge. You know, we didn't have an entire season. In a way, I kind of feel that this season is about Amy and Rory, yeah. and less about the Doctor and more about Amy and Rory. And in a way, that's good. In a way, it's, you know, bad. At, well, I mean, this is our first really Doctor Light episode since Moffat, Moffat took over. Oh, I guess I guess you could kind of consider it a Doctor Light. I mean, I mean, really, I mean, this this episode was definitely about Amy and Rory more than anything else, and there wasn't. I mean, if you really look at it, there well, really was the wasn't it was a lot the doctor of Doctor coming to visit them. Yeah, that was the whole purpose of it. Yeah, I mean, it felt like a laundry and closing time. Yeah. Um, in that, you know, you get the doctor in a kind of human environment, um, environment and he, he goes all kind of quirky and wonky and does his thing. Um, I, I thought it was a very sweet episode. I mean, it's, I actually really appreciate those kind of every slice of everyday life thing. Um, even the ending kind of was just meh. Um, I mean, I really enjoyed the episode. I, but the thing that I was going to say originally is my feeling... I was like, okay, I'm ready for Amy and Roy to leave. I'm yeah. okay with starting on Jenna Lee's Coleman. Did such a great job in the first episode. I can't wait to see what she can bring to the show. But then they introduced Brian. And I really like yeah. Brian. I was yeah. mentioning the last episode. 
it's nice to have a new character who you get to see kind yeah. of his adventures and excitement. I want Brian to actually travel. And we're not going to see him in the next episode, yeah. you know? He's not even so, only in these two. So he's, he's, he's done. We've said goodbye to Brian, most likely. Though we don't know that. It, it, it's, we know that Amy and Rory aren't coming back. He may very well show up. You know, they might pull Wolf. You know, where they bring him back, just with him. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't see it, because he's, he, he's not like Wolf in that aspect. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really going to miss the opportunity to see, see Brian again. Because um, he was a great character. And I love how he had that realization about, you know, he was always worried about them not coming back. And then he's just like, you know. Okay. So they promised the return to a classic Doctor Who villain. All right. And, and they said the Zygons were coming back. Yeah. If they were just, if they come back just in a reference I will be disappointed. Now, it was fantastic that they at least brought them into the picture. And yay, we get an official Zygon, you know, a canonized Zygon reference after all this time. You know, after, oof, my goodness, 20-something years. Uh, but, uh, no, I, 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 I think we're going to get a real classic Doctor Who monster back. Because Toby Woodhouse said that he was writing an episode that had a classic monster. And I'm yeah. pretty sure... Someone drew the connection to that and said that he was going to be writing a Zygon. And maybe that reference to the Zygons was prepping people who didn't know about the Zygons. Well, I, I do remember like the, the, I, one of the Doctor Who magazines I actually purchased, because I don't purchase many of them. It might be the one with Louise, Louise Coleman on the cover. Um, that They were even guessing that the Zygons were coming back. Well, another thing to strengthen that is, you know, their BBC is planning on releasing <laughs> all the name, classic... I've got the name now of the actress. Gemma Redgrave? Oh, right. Oh, this is killing me, because I know I've seen her in something else. I'll look it up, and, and I'm sure we'll post it underneath. Um, one of the things that... Uh, oh, wait, nope. I had, a, I had a thought. I'm sorry. Oh, one of the classic things that they were saying is Classic Who is going to have all of the classic Doctor Who episodes released by the 50th anniversary. That was their promise. Mm -hmm. Everything they had available will become available. Yeah. And, of course, one of the last things to be released is Tarot of the Zygons. Yeah. Um, which is a fact. Fantastic episode. I, uh, the, the Zygons are possibly the weirdest, quirkiest of any uh, creature that they've ever done. Uh, and so maybe that we'll get the Terror of the Zygons released around the same time as that episode. Who knows? But it would be nice. But they weren't in this episode much, so I guess we can move on. So we have cubes. Yes. We've got, we've got tons of cubes. Let's talk about I want a cube. cube. I know. From a marketing standpoint, wouldn't you just want a tiny little black cube that maybe counts down from seven to zero? Um, <laughs> just honestly, I mean, and plays is the macarena. No, that was the chicken dance. Oh, God. Oh, I always paint the chicken. Da, 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 One of the things about not being involved with popular culture as opposed to pop culture is that I don't actually know what the chicken dance is, so I'm okay with that. There was a chicken dance reference and thing I worked on this weekend, so oh. I got to giggle on Sunday when they oh, mentioned chicken dance. I'm like, nice. oh, this is a Doctor Who reference. <laughs> cool, but yeah, no, um, yeah, I don't, yeah, because I mean, they they've turned everything else that's like that into. A toy or a prop or something, but I mean, I, I want a black cube. I would, I would see a black cube coming with with a figurine or something. Kind of like because the, no one would want to buy just a black well, cube. Like the Pandorica, you know, you True. bought all the figures, you were able to assemble a Pandorica. I, you know, there are enough of those black cubes, and if they don't bring them back, it's potential they might sell them as the actual props. I know, I'm, I'm, I've already been looking on eBay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because they did that with all the all the money, all all the fake money from Tenants Run. Yeah, I almost bought that the other day. It, it got outbid at the last minute. It was like $30 for a fake $10 pound note. <laughs> as a Who fan, I feel like I should own it, but as a collector, I feel like I should also seek therapy for wanting to own it. Um, so that being said, yeah, no, I think it was a good episode. I felt that the ending fell short. I felt that we had this really kind of... Really I did not like the the one-liner at the end. I thought that was really cheesy. For the power of three? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, And I, I will say, out of all the episodes this season, since we knew the least about this one, I was the least excited for this one. I was the most excited because like, we because didn't I know knew, anything. I knew what was going to happen. Well, see, I knew about Unit coming back and stuff like that because I get Doctor Who magazine every month, which we get it a month later than the UK does. Really? Yeah. Oh, bummer. Yeah, we get it a month later. Dude, I guess it this, does this, it goes... this one for this month, though, has like a 3D TARDIS in it that you can build. Oh, I'm so excited. It comes with either a bow tie or a little TARDIS. Oh. Cool. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> I'm, I'm in now. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, well, I've got the shock, shock key, shulk, shock, what are the, what, the shank, shockies? What were the bad guys shock in this guys. one? I forget what they were called. They were, okay, let's face it, you know, you can, you'll see the Wait episode. A second. They huh. go to a spaceship, they talk to a hologram, there's no threat. There's, there was, I thought oh, there was, like, there was very little shock threat. Shockery. Shockery. And, and supposedly they, they were something that were to, to terrify young Time Lords. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's basically telling me we're going to see these guys again, but the real versions. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, I have a question for you. Did anybody see the problem with the Doctor letting all those people die on the spaceship? That were oh, unconscious? Yes. I mean, it was blue the eyes. He, The only two people he cared about getting off that ship were Rory and Amy in that and moment. And Ryan. Well, no, he was already off. But all those other people that were still alive, laying down, he didn't even give them a second thought. Know if they were alive. They could have been corpses. They could have been plugged in. They did specify exactly. No one went and checked on them. I know. And the spaceship blows up, and I'm like, huh. People just died. Yeah. That really, I was just like, th that, I caught that. Yeah. I mean, I really noticed that all those people, you know, just died. And that's not like the doctor. I felt like that was a very uncharacteristic doctor moment. Yeah. Well, I just felt that, okay, we don't know who the little girl was with the cube. We don't know who the people with the cube mouth. Cube mouth, come on. It, yeah, it that was seemed pretty a, cheesy. It seemed a little okay. Dr. Dance's empty child. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I saw that. I was like. And I mean, they were. But like when you guys were talking about people, they were taking like older people and stuff too, so they may have. I just I don't know. They 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 weren't they were they weren't gray and flushy. You know they they didn't look dead. They still looked alive to me. Sure. And I just had a real issue with us. It's like, wow. I mean, the doctor just let all of these people die, and he's the one that caused those people to die. Sure. Though, we do get a reference to the the Doctor Who movie. In this one, which I thought was kind of cool. The TV movie? Yeah. What was the reference? How did they kill the doctor in the TV movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I actually told somebody that. I was like, because oh. Yeah, because I watched it with Brian and Mara. And I was just like, that's, that's the, uh, that's yeah, right there. The defibrillator. The defibrillator. He says, yeah. it won't work on me. I have two hearts. Yeah. But when one heart fails, the defibrillator works. I was like, yeah. huh. Hmm. But he, I think we're going to see the shock read again. I think it's going to make a yeah. very valid point because there was a lot of build up for people. Yeah. Nothing. And it was just kind of the episode kissing and I went, eh. And then the line and yeah, it was just it was like the really power of three. At I, the end. I was just like, yes, we know. But there's that wonderful moment with Amy, um, the Amy and the doctor. Yeah, the doctor oh. they're sitting looking and you can over see the Rory city. kind of doing his thing with his pants off and, and you know, it's it's see what I'm waiting for is I wanna see how this episode and the next episode stand up together. Mm -hmm. Because I <laughs> I didn't realize we, that we, we giggle because the phone just hit said exterminate. But I'm really curious to see how those two are going to be interconnected. Yeah. yeah. Because they finally came, in, came, came to terms with traveling with the doctor. Mm -hmm. And what did they do in the next episode? We don't know. Yeah, we exactly. Don't know. Though Thank I'm you. still hoping I'm right. I really hope I'm right about my guess. Well, before we get to that, yeah. um, anything else we want to talk about uh, with this episode? No. Oh, I do want to mention uh, Planet of the Giants came out um, on DVD. Great episode. Mm -hmm. um, three-parter, right? A three-parter. Um, but they do reconstruct it, so you have parts three and four, too, if you want to watch it like that. Cool. With the voice actors that do the audio dramas. But having the original Susan and the original... Um... Bra uh, Ian and Barbara? I no, Ian. Is Barbara yeah. gone? Yeah, Barbara passed away. But Ian oh, oh I see none in the episode. Right. Yeah. The Ian... Who played Ian is doing most of the older episodes or most of the audio sure. dramas yeah. now. Yeah, and, and, and Susan's doing. I thought you were talking about in the episode. No, no, no. No, they leave together after the chase. No, 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 no. Uh, they, no, they um, and they get the guy who plays Hartnell um in the audio dramas to reconstruct um what was supposed to be if, if they actually did all four parts the way they were supposed to. Gotcha. Um, I just want to say that was a really good episode. Um, cool. before we you know go on to anything else. No, I mean I thought this was a good. I felt this was almost a prequel to episode five. Uh, it was good. I enjoyed it. You like, know, I almost would have preferred this one to be at the beginning of the season. Well, well if, for my theory to yeah. work, it should have been. Also, I'd like to point out that this episode does not have, uh, I don't think it has a light bulb reference. I've only seen it the one time. Uh, it didn't have a Christmas reference. I don't believe. Uh, no. It didn't have a music reference. It didn't have a music reference. Well, I mean, it had a, obviously, unless the doctor admitted being the one who made the chicken dance. Um, mm -hmm. And it didn't have 
uh, the, the Shockery knew who the doctor was. Yeah. So, you know, I was waiting, I was waiting, and no, I was waiting. so, um, it kind of blows those theories, and with Brian being there, it could be that episode two and episode four follow each other, but I think my theory of it being shown out of sequence is different, and the opening sequence was brighter. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I made sure to watch for was, that. Was it was very bright. Pink. Yeah. So that's different. See, mm. Oh, also my fa- possibly my favorite uh, opening uh, title sequence. I like the little, the little Hubert yeah. things. I thought that was cute. Well, no, I it's. I mean, like I said, I, I think each episode follows a genre, and because of the pink, you know, romantic comedy. You know that sort of thing. I just I get, I get this feeling that you know they're really trying to reflect, especially in those those intros. Um, the they're trying to match the color to the theme of the of the episode. Um, but of course, next week is going to be the really interesting one because I'm really wondering how black or gray yeah, that intro is going to be. Um, I'm going with the title sequence. That, yeah, I just is it going to be the weeping angels doing like the. I don't know, but I'm, I'm really, I'm really curious to see how they're, how they're going to handle things. Um, Jamie, Ellis, Jamie, yeah, I. Oof. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't know how. I'm, I'm really I'm apprehensive. I'm dreading it, and I'm excited for it at the same time. I'm going to go see it with a group of friends, uh, and I almost don't want to because I have this feeling like someone's going to come to this viewing who isn't a Doctor Who fan is going to talk, and I'm going to, I'm going to kill them. I'm just See, gonna strangle them. I'm, Bring your taser. I'm gonna be watching this like I've, I've done all of them. The first showing by myself. Yeah. Um, because my friends Brian Morrow and I watched the new episode this week, and I was like, I, I, I'm doing something. Give me about another forty minutes. I don't get to watch this till Sunday because and Saturday I'll be at that convention. Don't and go on I Facebook. Oh, I'm no, not. Craig, I'm not. Craig, I'm actually, buddy, you, you, you're, yeah. you're ruining some stuff for me on, on Facebook, so I can't remember what they posted uh, yeah, no, I'm today, and I was just like, oh. I, I, have, I have a plan if know. there is Wi-Fi yeah. where we're going to be at, but sure. Sure. No, I if mean, not, then I'm going to be watching it at my grandma's on Sunday night. Yeah, I'll be avoiding, um, normally I get it before we, we see it in the States, I mean, for too much gets ruined on Facebook. But I mean, I'm I'm planning on staying away from we've, Facebook until I've done that. We've seen some pictures because well, we've seen the pictures the, they released. They released well that in some of the people that were taking pictures of them felt like whenever yeah. they were filming and stuff because I find that really funny. My friend who lives in England said that when they film in Wales, you never see that because people just walk by, they don't care. But here, everyone was so excited. They're filming an American's Doctor Who, and it's just such an so American it's like, thing. We know it's like the Japanese fans. Well, yeah. I know it's like it, it's funny because like when when I lived in Wilmington, they would film Dawson's Creek, and nobody gave you, you know, no nobody cared. We walked by. Right by I was in high school when they were filming that crap, and you know uh, what? Those cheerleaders were so just excited to go. Doctor Who to Dawson's Creek. <laughs> oh my okay. god! I know. Just, oh, you. Oh. James Vanderbeek strike you down. Anyway, um, no, I'm just saying. I mean, I could see how they. I they remember get girls that. skipping school, like in high school, girls skipping school to go be extras in Dawson's Creek. And she's continuing the conversation. I'm just saying. Um, so um, we saw the trailer. We're going to talk about next week's episode. I mean, we just have to, or the um, Weeping Angel episode. What what's the official? T- oh, Angels Take Manhattan. Is that what the yeah. official title is? Horrible title. Moffat, horrible title. But the poster's really cool that yeah. they released. But we saw the trailer. Yeah, we did. What do you think about the trailer? River that we saw? comes back. Yeah, but that we already knew that. Yeah, I know, but I'm so excited to see River for one episode. I loved season. everything until the last shot of the, of, of the teaser. Of them falling? Of them falling. Because it looked horribly CG'd. Uh, it's like yeah. But I mean, but I mean... What I mean? They spent all their money on the dinosaurs. What What are your What are your expectations? I mean, how do you want to leave th- this next episode? I don't want to have expectations going in because I'll either hate it or I'll be crying my eyes out. Or, and I mean, almost every episode at some point has made me want to cry this season. Yeah. So, I'm very excited because they mentioned in the preview that the angels that we're dealing with are not the reconstituted angels from Time of the Angels. They are the some. classic, are blink angels because yeah. they drain your energy and they show the Statue There's of Liberty. There's a baby angel. 
well, multiple. Let's. Well, I don't think we can call them baby angels. No. I think we can say that they are weeping cherubs. You do realize that you're saying this now, and there's totally going to end up being like a little cherub on your porch one day. No, no, no. I'm going to sneak I'm, on there and I'm, sneak I'm, on your porch and see how long it takes you to realize it's there. On my porch? It might take forever. Um, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll make sure to go up there every week and move it a little bit. <laughs> I don't think it's babies. I mean, they're, they're cherubs. They're smaller statues. Yeah. I mean, I don't... Yeah, I don't think we're dealing with juvenile angels. We might be. Who knows? I think that would be really weird. The smiling angel, by far and away the creepiest thing on that. Angels are way creepier when you don't see that monster face. Yeah. I think just the... Just the... Was, was pretty creepy. But it's, I want to see the Statue of Liberty. I want to see the lights go out. But here's what I... I don't want to see angels move. Um, that that kind of ruined Statue time of angels for me. Statue of Liberty copper. So? All the angels so far have been stone. I I don't care. Um, I also don't think it's going to happen. I think that they just threw that in there to get us. Well, well I do like the fact that you know we do see multiple time periods. Do we? Yes, because we see um, New York now, mm -hmm. and then we see I think a more classic New York. Oh, that would be awesome. So I think I think people are getting zapped. Do you think Amy and Rory gave their own grandparents? I wow, hope not. That's so wow. Now, um, <laughs> I mean, do you have any theories about you know what their departure is going to be? I mean, do you think it's going to be death? Do you think it's going to be something else? I mean, what do you think is going to be the cause of the departure? I mean, this is this is our chance to speculate uh, okay. before the episode comes out. I, I'm I'm telling you, I want to see Amy get sent back in time and be Amelia Rumsford. I, I from the the Stones of Blood. That's that to me. Um, I would like to see them separated through time. I think it would be, you know, kind of tragic. Do I want to see either one of them die? I really don't want to see Rory die because I just, we've seen that already. Yeah. <laughs> and Amy die. This can't be the final. Yeah. Oh my God, you killed Rory. I, I think it has far more impact to have them separated yeah. um, in a way that the doctor, you know, what if they're the doctor's parents too? Oh God, no, that would be horrible. That would mean an incestuous relationship. You know, they, they could they could do some weird stuff with that. Um, if well, someone has to die, one, I hope it's not Brian. I just I think that would be really weird. And I haven't seen him anything mentioned for him to be in this yeah, episode. Yeah, but they've also been really good about hiding things from us too. Here's here's what I'd like to see. If some if one of our four main characters has got to die in that one, I want it to be River. I want River to I, I think River could die uh, in a way that messes with her already history and makes it even more convoluted. I think that would be... And I Moffat think, wouldn't be... Uh, Moffat, I could see Moffat doing it. Of course. That means that we actually don't know what's going to happen in another episode, you know. So, who knows? Who knows? It's Moffat. It's it's the characters that really brought Moffat to the forefront uh, as far as that's concerned. So, I just want to say, I think, it, I think it's absolutely brilliant, your idea about um, Amelia Rumsford and the fact the reason why the doctor couldn't bring you know Rory back to her because he's he across his line exactly he already knows yeah and the thing is is with, with the way they kept referring to you know time energy time energy you know sending people back in time I think it's a, I think it's a real possibility that something might separate the two of them from time is a possibility do you have any um, theories or guesses no. of what it might be you, 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 I just I mean like I, I kind of in a happy ending type of way like the idea of where River will die and then Amy can become pregnant again somehow. Well, that's, that's just my happy ending that's, I, I, for I, that episode I because I'm see, so dreading a bad ending of this episode. How, how cool would this be if, if, if the thing that... Um, if it kills River and they get sent back in time, somehow manages to fix them and they can get pregnant and we get to see them have a child mm -hmm. and they name it something and that gives us some kind of... You know, they name it a character. Um, you know... There, you could throw out tons of different ideas from classic Doctor Who, but something that actually perpetuates the, yeah. the series. Here's the thing: that the the line from uh, Power of Three, the "This is yours is the first face my face saw," yeah, burned into my heart. It was very sweet, and and he wasn't talking about the Doctor; he was talking about the audience. You know, that's that's what's important. Yeah, is you could have started Doctor Who with Matt Smith and not known anything previous to, for the most part, 
and and continued on. Yeah, and I, I think that's a that's what they're going to leave us with. See, and for me, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say we take the tragedy out of it totally, and you know, I think or what I'm hoping is that there is no tragedy. Um, but the thing that you know makes him stop traveling with the doctor is the fact that Amy's pregnant. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have to have anybody die. I mean. Let Moffat totally surprises because they've been building up, building up, building up that this is this is going to be in. They've built it up to where you know she said she wanted an ending for uh, Amy, where there's no reason for her to ever travel with the doctor ever again after this. Mm -hmm. um, and so she wouldn't have to come back again and again and again like they did with uh, Billy Piper and Rose. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't want that sort of that flip floppiness. I mean, I just want to see you know her and Rory live happily ever after with a child of their own. Because um, we already know what happens to River, which, uh, you know, I'm fine with that being her ending where we've already seen it. I mean, let, let Moffat give us a happy ending because we're expecting something bad. I mean, he's been building this up, building this up, building this up. And I could see, see him totally doing a, a, a sleight of hand on us where they actually give it a happy ending. Sure. That stops him from traveling with him. Um, I would be very happy if that episode had a happy ending because I'm dreading this horribly sad episode. And because I, I ball during certain episodes of Doctor Who. Do we think the Doctor knows what's going to happen already? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He gave Amy a look in this one episode. She said something. I can't remember what it was now. He gave her this look that wasn't a, I'm reacting to this as a reaction in this moment, but I know it's going to happen. I'm reacting based off of my foreknowledge. We'll see. You, you, you get the ending of um, uh, Bing Bang. Uh, where he actually goes back yeah. and interacts with her. Yeah. Could he do that again? Sure. Would we feel that was uh, cheap in the moment? No. Yeah, no. I mean, I mean, it's, it's Moffat. I, yeah, I mean, okay. Because I mean, the big thing is, is yes, it's only been you know this many months since they last saw the Doctor. We don't actually know when the last time he actually saw them and which version he saw and how much time has passed. Actually, that's something we didn't mention in. Um, Town called Mercy. Three hundred years has passed for the Doctor. He's twelve hundred years old now. Or around, he, he basically said three hundred years have passed without a companion. Uh, that is, that is interesting. Oh, uh, instead of going to the past, they get sent to the future uh, because of um, the, well, the, the cold blood and uh, the hungry earth. Them waving at themselves. It's a possibility. Though of course they've always said they, and even in the episode they, they've always said they sent them to the past. Gotcha. <gasps> right, exactly. And uh, we have a, a young gentleman who's going to come and do some film expert film work for us. <laughs> or not. <laughs> if you want to come and talk to us about your feelings of Doctor Who, then... <laughs> like, I'm too... I'm just going to go put my hands and stuff. All right. <laughs> so is there anything else I, I left that needs to be said before we end this episode? I mean, anything from any of the first four episodes of this season. Is there anything we, we still want to get off our chest? chest? Any sort of um, connections we want to make from episodes one, two, three, and four? I mean, is there anything we just want to just blah out? I've done yeah. that a lot, this the last four episodes. Yeah, so you're I'm, like me. I'm just like, I, mean, ah, I, just, I just have this great brilliant theory. Oh no, yeah. it got shut down in the next episode. No, I, look, I'm just, I want to see it. I'm excited. Next time you see us, we're, it, it'll be over. Yeah. You know and, Five episodes in a single month. Let's face it, the September of 2012 is pretty awesome. Sure. Yeah. So, um, you know, by the next time you see us, Doctor Who Season 7 Part A will be done. Yeah, the next time you'll see us will be like January, December, well, January. Well, we'll for a Doctor move. New Doctor. Well, I mean, now. I'm going to be, I know I'll be filming multiple episodes for the Christmas special. Sure. Because um, there are a lot of people that want to do a Christmas special episode with me. Sure. Uh, so GPR is going to have many, at least three and different. Know, I love the Christmas special. Yeah. And I think this one's going to be different because I don't think it's going to be a quote unquote Christmas story or an adaptation of a Christmas story. I think it's going to be something totally different. I hope so. Because we've never had it. But we've seen, we've seen Victorian style clothing, so you never know. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of the things I'm we just gotta wait and see. For Christmas special. But I don't know. I, I don't know if that's a Christmas episode because, from what I understand, that was actually an episode in the actual seasons. Mm -hmm. Because that, that's what Doctor Who likes to tend to do is to film an episode or two before they actually bring the companion in, so there's chemistry there. But they've already well, they've did already that. They've already got chemistry. But um, 
like I said, it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, how it all comes together. But until I then, wanna, I want to know if the new companion is gonna call him Chin Boy too. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> but we we gotta wait until Amy and Rory's story's over with before we get too excited about the new companion. Also, if you happen to go to a convention, and you see anyone as doctor carrying a cabbage, let us know, uh, because I feel that the cabbage could be the new banana. At the brief moment of of the cabbage when they get sent back in time with the zygotes, I wanted to mention earlier, but I missed it. Cabbages. Cabbages. Cabbages are cool. So, are, <laughs> is there anything else? No. Are, are we done? I'm done. Yeah. You're done. You're done. I'm done. I'm done. So this is GPR signing off. So peace. <laughs>